Hey guys, welcome to SciMath, and today we are going to be talking about substitution, which is another way to solve systems of linear equations. So let's get started. Substitution is another way of solving systems of linear equations, and it just gives you um, the solution, which is your x and y coordinate, which I've written out here. It's just helping you find your x and y coordinate that is that will satisfy both of your equations and still hold true and we already talked about elimination before so i will link that video in the description above so be sure to go and check that out as well but today we're just going to be talking about substitution so let's go through a couple of examples to see how substitution works so our first example is y is equal to 2x plus 11 and x is equal to 4. Now something similar to elimination is that both of these equations are stacked top and bottom, but the difference is that not both of these are like uh, linear equations. It's only the first one. The second one, they've just told us that x is 4 and 4 is just a constant. So they've essentially given you your x value for um, the coordinates. So we already have one piece of the puzzle. Now our next the next we have to find the y value and that's really simple because this equation gives you the y value so it's 2x plus 11 so we already have our x so all you really have to do is do y is equal to 2 times 4 plus plus 11 and then you get y is equal to 2 times 4 is 8 plus 11 y is equal to 19 and your solution is 4 comma 19 so your this x value for 4 and 19 for the y value work for both of these equations and holds true that's how you find it so that was a very simple question now let's do one more um question that is going to be pretty similar but a little harder some people might find it a little harder uh so this is y is equal to uh, x plus 4 and then x plus y is equal to 10. Now this might look a little harder to some people just because of the fact that both of these ha are like linear equations and it's not as simple as just being stating that x is 4 or a constant. Uh, but it is again very simple because here as you can see the second one is the linear equation and this equation just tells you just gives you the y value. So we can do that. We can just substitute this y in here first. So x plus x plus 4 is equal to 10 because be careful, this is y, so you put this whole equation into y. Now the next step would be to combine like terms and you do x plus x because as you can see both of these have x and one mis two mistakes you can't make is you can't do 1x plus 4 because this 4 does not have an x. And if the second 1x plus 1y, you cannot add them together. You cannot do 1x plus 1y. Uh, both of them have to have x's next to them. So x plus x is just 2x plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 10. And then you just subtract 4 from both sides. So the first side cancel out, cancels out to be 0. And then two, you're just left with 2x is equal to 6. Then you divide both sides by 2 to isolate the x, and you're left with x is equal to 3. Now, since you have your x is equal to 3, what you can really do is just substitute into any of these two equations to find uh, y. And personally, I would do, find the easier equation and just put it into that. And I can see here that this first equation will be much more time saving for me instead of the second one just because if i put three in here i'll have to subtract it and take it to the other side and then solve for y but here i just have to do simple um addition that's just saving me one extra step even though it's not really it doesn't take you that long but still i just find it easier so y is equal to three plus four so y is seven and that gives your solution of three comma seven so both so x for three and y for seven both of these work for these equations that we have these original equations that we have and hold true so it's a solution so hopefully you learned something new today and feel more comfortable in solving substitution and i would definitely recommend going out there and practicing more types of these questions or maybe even harder questions challenging ones to see if you can do it because it comes in handy on in algebra one classes and even on the sat so definitely recommend practicing it and knowing it well um and so as always, remember to stay curious and keep learning. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.